Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Chattu. Today we are going to learn how to make an email verification. Uh, we will use Laravel notification uh, for sending the email with one time password. And then we, the user will take this one time password and submit it on our controller. Uh, then the, his email or her email get verified. So how can we do this? First, we have here the same project we are working on the login and registration we have done with authentication. Uh, here we have made a, a notification system for the user telling it's a login. Uh, and here this is the registration and we are going to use one time password package. It's Laravel OTB, it's simple and easy. So let's get started. This is a code here for Composer to install this package. As you can see, then uh, we'll add the uh, provider and the alias. Here, this is a provider alias. <coughs> As you can see. Okay, so we can do that. Okay, now we are installed the, the package. We need to make uh, a migration, which we are testing migrate to migrate the tables of uh, OTB package. So let's create a controller for. Uh, um, a notification for for the email email verification notification this is a class for sending the email uh, with one time password here it is we will add it to the registration function first let's uh, create the properties of the class like that Here's a message and subject and from email and Miller and OTB. Okay, Miller, uh, for choosing the email uh, we sent uh, from if we are using multiple email in Laravel. So let's make our con constructor. Is this the message? So the method will be use the pillow code for verification process. Then subject will be uh, verification needed. <coughs> then the email will be SMTP. And, uh, and take an instance from OTB. So this is an example. Um, the email example we don't need it for the remove it. And we can take it from the login. Uh, I like to write all my codes with the same style, uh, so I can copy and paste and uh, save sometimes. So here it is a similar SMTB subject would be our subject. Um, we need the, then the greeting, hello, and message and the code. Here is the code, but we need to generate the code. So let's uh, create a variable, OTB, and this OTB generate. First thing is the identifier would be uh, the email, and then we'll generate the six digits, and the expire time uh, will be uh, uh, six minutes, and that's the token. So that's everything. 
Here is the first thing, the message and the code below. Okay. Now uh, we need to, to put the notification to uh, add the notification to the registration uh, class to the controller. So first we will call the registration notification. No, the, the registration or sorry, the email verification notification. Yeah, it's, a, it's a long name. So after the registration process code, we will add uh, the notification. It will be user notify new email verification. Then after the registration, we will send an email with one time password to the user. So we can make the verification process. As we can see here, I, ha I made the test. I just registered the user and it's has been sent to me on my email with the code. We uh, our app named the store. So here it is. That's the code. So the second step we need we need to, to create a controller for uh, for the verification process. So we'll create a um, controller BHP artisan make controller. Uh, mail verification controller. So, of course, we need to make a request uh, for validation. The data we will get, we will receive while the, pro the verification process, as you can see. Now we have our uh, controller class and the request class. Here. So make uh, it's true. Then we will receive the email. So that email should be required. And type email. And should be existed in the user's table. The second thing, thing is the OTB. Will be required as well. And uh, maximum uh, six digits. <coughs> as you can see. Now in the email verification controller. Let's create uh, the function uh, for email verification, so public function email verification, and call the request class here. Email verification request. So first thing we need to validate the OTB and the package comes with a class for validation. So all we have to do to make an instance of the class private OTB on the constructor. new OTB yes we'll put it down here now so let's go back the validation process so this OTB validate the, the identifier will be is the request email request email it 
and uh, the OTB. Okay, um, we just need to name it OTB2. So let's say first condition. Uh, if not, uh, yani, if, if the status is false, okay, we need to return an error. So uh, we'll create a JSON error. So return response JSON. Error and the, uh, the default uh, OTB. Okay. Okay, but if it's true, let's make the validation. So user. user where email equals the request email we need to get the, the user data or the user model so like that first user update email verify at Verified at. This is the, the the date for the verification. You can use a status, for example. Uh, you can use so many ways, but now we we are we have here just uh, the verification date. As you can see in the migration, that's our table in the, in the database. We just add the date. So as you can see, user update, and uh, I return success. Okay, now um, success equal true. We need to return success array as a JSON. So. We need to test uh, this function, but before testing, of course, we need to create a route. So we we'll call here the class, and uh, this is the route. Okay, and we use uh, uh, us uh, us sanctum middleware for protecting our route, so the only logged in user can use it. So here it is. This. Uh, See syndication. So we are testing it. We need to add the user model here, and this will make it OTB. Okay, let's make a test again. Okay, now it false. It's false. False because we have uh, used this uh, code before while the testing the first time. It gave us an error. Here we are fixing the stuff. Uh, here from the database, we can make it valid equal one, so we can test it again. Now it's true. Success true. The email should be validated by now. But what if we want to resend our email again? Uh, so we need to create a new function for send, for resend as a validation email, the verification email. Sorry. And of course, it will send a new uh, OTB. A request user uh, 
notify email verification and notification and of course success equal true and then success too with the status school 200 and we will add a route for the function it will be the same route but with get uh, method instead of post post for for submitting the data get for getting the data so it's the same but we need to take this function and put it here in the email verification Let's give it a test. Now I'm authorized because we have no access token. Let's send it. Mm, taking some time. Yeah, success true. Here is the email has been sent. So let's just test the uh, error if we add a wrong code. This is the right code now. So in database 2, email provide add. We got data, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.